I want to take you now to Elgeo Marquet, and uh, there's been quite a bit happening uh, in that county. Um, a number of changes within uh, the county executive committee, that's the cabinet at the county level, as well as the launch of a development plan. So this morning, John Wanyama is in Iten Town. For more details on that, John, what do we expect considering the upheavals we have seen within the CECs? Thank you very much, Yvonne. And in, indeed, um, we are in El Geo Market County, Iten Town, and we are also expecting maybe the governors. They are just they have just started their meeting like uh, one hour ago, and we will be also following up to see what will be what they will be discussing here. But also, Yvonne, in El Geo Market County, as we have been informed that the governor also uh, sent some officers on compulsory relief, and we would like also to know why did he do that? Though we have been told that some, some of those officers who were sent home were informed that they were not really performing as per his standard. Thank you very much, Governor. And maybe as you start with today's meeting, what are you really doing today? Uh, thank you very much, John. Uh, today we are here uh, to launch uh, our OGB uh, Action Plan 2 for, uh, that will run uh, from now, 2018 to 2020. And as you know, El Geo is a signatory of... Uh, open uh, government partnership. We were in, uh, uh, engaged in 2016 after submitting our proposal and we are happy to be uh, the only county in Kenya uh, who is a member of OGB. Who, uh, the, 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 the values or the principle of OGB is to promote uh, openness, uh, integrity, accountability and citizen participation in uh, 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 governance. And uh, from 2016, we submitted our first uh, action plans, and uh, among the things that we uh, uh, we had as uh, our commitment is uh, citizen participation, uh, open uh, procurement. Uh, uh, we also had the issue of budgeting because we realized that uh, the budgets that we normally uh, submit to our people are voluminous, and. Uh, Part of the commitment was to ensure that we have uh, simplified uh, budgets and also uh, promote uh, feedback mechanism or interaction between the government and uh, uh, citizens. Yeah. And uh, today we are now launching the second set of uh, uh, commitments. And uh, as a county, uh, we thought that uh, from the achievements that we achieved from the first set of achievements, uh, uh, commitments, we realized that there are still some things that make El Geo Maraquet not open enough uh, to uh, our citizens. And uh, part of the things that we, we, we are still following up is the issue of uh, open procurement, because we realized that uh, going down to our people, we realized that we still had challenges with the issue of uh, uh, procurement. Okay. And we are happy now that we are even uh, one of the counties implementing uh, 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 e-procurement, and that will really uh, uh, support us under this uh, commitment to ensure that okay. our procurement process is open. Okay, Governor, Other issues, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we, we, will, we will come up to that later on. Maybe if you can, in one minute, because uh -huh. I'm being told we don't have enough time, uh -huh. There are those officers you send them on compulsory leave. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, part of the things that uh, made me send the officers to, uh, on compulsory leave is the issue of uh, 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 um, uh, lack of uh, commitment in their working um, uh, offices. We realize that at this moment our contractors are really suffering. They have loans in the banks. As a county, we have a lot of money in the bank that are supposed to be paid to our contractors. And I can't imagine people sitting in offices and yet the contractors are suffering out there. And we say that to ensure that our staff um, are, are competent enough and even uh, discharge their duties in, in a way uh, that is required uh, in government offices. Uh, we should send these people. And again, I realize that uh, since their time is coming to an end, some of them have started uh, uh, being lazy. They don't want to report to work early. Okay. And these are the people who are supposed to man the departments. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Yvonne, as, have you, as you have heard, those are the crucial things that are happening here in El Geo Market County. And we'll be bringing you these stories in our subsequent bulletin as they are happening here. But one thing the governor has mentioned of crucial is that uh, those who are working in government offices, they must work up to standard or else they will be sent home. From El Geo Market, back to you today, Yvonne.
Thank you, John Wanyama in Eten Town for that.